Welcome back to my channel. Today's video setup is obviously different and that's because I'm going to be doing a study with me video. So on Instagram the other day I posted a photo of me studying or an Insta story of me studying. Zoni Stop sent me a DM and she said I should do a study with me video. So I obviously as a medical student spend 99.99% of my life studying naturally um, and I have thought of doing a study with me video because I do use them when I feel I'm struggling to study on my own. However, I didn't particularly feel the South African market would like them because South African YouTube viewers are a different breed so you can never really gauge what they really like and what they don't like so I really didn't want to make a video that absolutely no one would watch or people just wouldn't like or appreciate so I decided to do an Instagram poll and to be honest I didn't expect a positive response from that poll at all I expected maybe like 50 responses off the poll in total and I expected most of them to be no's but I was pleasantly surprised because I got 380 yeses and about 52 noes. And I can perfectly understand the people that said no because obviously it depends on the demographic. So the people that said no probably maybe aren't even students. And even if they are, there's some students that are actually not really about studying or doing well at school. So they don't really care too much about it even if they are. And that's okay. Um, and then there's just people who their um, preference in the content that I create is the beauty related content. So I perfectly understood um, the people that said no, but I felt 380 people that said yes is more than enough for me to make this video um, and that would actually benefit someone. So to start this video, I figured I'd start by covering my goals or what my goals are with my whole studying situation as a whole. So um, I got into VITS through the graduate entry medical program so I've been in medical school for four years. This year is the fourth year um, and since I started medical school I've been a distinction student. The only year that I haven't gotten a distinction for is fourth year and that's because I had quite real problems with my health in that year so I really did struggle but otherwise over and above I am a distinction student and I'm very proud to say it I'm not even shy because I work very hard guys very very hard medical school is not easy and I work really hard for those marks so I'm very proud of them and this year being my final year obviously my aim is to achieve another distinction average this year because it is my last year in medical school and so far I'm on the right track because I've done integrated primary care which was my first block and I got a distinction for IPC and I've just come out of the hell block <laughs> which is internal medicine and I got a distinction for internal med as well, thank God. So obviously this year um, I have a few more blocks which is five in total and for those five blocks I'd like to maintain my distinction average. So what I'm doing now is pediatrics um, and I'm doing pediatrics at Rahima Musa. So the way that it works at Rahima is they are more focused on you practically working as an intern. The most that we get at Rahima Musa is that we get one tutorial a day and then you spend the rest of the day working in the wards. So that's great for practical knowledge, but for the way our exams are set up, you have to have a very good approach to different systems and different conditions, as well as know how to manage them. So we're kind of skipping the approach and going straight into management. So for that reason, I have to spend this block genuinely teaching myself and that's why I think this vlog would be the perfect one for me to be doing study with me videos or for me to be doing this video because I actually have a really I have to have a really good approach to my studying this vlog for me to be able to excel in my exams. How we're going to set this up or how I'd suggest that you set this up is at this point in the video you can make a goal for your study session with me at this present moment. I already have set up what I want to achieve in the study session so I'm just going to run through with you guys the different topics that I need to cover in this session and then I'm going to tell you how we're going to go about it. So I have my pediatrics objectives right here um, and we have these on our website and I'm pretty sure everybody has like a study guide or objectives or different um, forms or plans um, of how you or rather what you need to achieve 
in a module or in a block and I have divided my objectives into the ones that I want to do today. In total we have 100 objectives, 117 objectives to cover in six weeks but these are the ones that I'm going to be doing today because obviously I can't realistically do 117 objectives in one go and I do have six weeks. So I'm going to be covering quite a few. I think there's about 10 or 11 here but I'll just run through the topics with you. So I'm doing, they're not um, system related, they're just random random um, topics that I thought I could time. So I'm going to be doing neonatal jaundice, which I had started with yesterday. And I've had a migraine for about five days that's been running, so it's been affecting my studying quite a bit. So I started neonatal jaundice yesterday, and then my migraine hits, and then I couldn't work. However, I am going to finish that today, and then carry on with the rest of my objectives. And then I have hemolytic uremic syndrome, and then I have congenital diaphragmatic hernia, then I have hemophilia, then I have necrotizing enterocolitis. Then I have neonatal intracranial hemorrhage. And then the last one is respiratory distress in the neonate. So those are the topics that I'm going to be covering. I think there's about 10 or 11. So how I study is that I study in burst sessions and then take a break. So my burst sessions last 30 minutes. So I'm going to be studying straight for 30 minutes and then take a 15 minute break to recollect myself, take some time to breathe. Sometimes depending on how I feel, the break can extend to half an hour. And the reason why I study in this way is because the human brain and just everybody in general, we have a very short concentration span. It's Especially when it comes to studying, not movies and stuff, you know we can do that forever, but with studying it is a bit limited. So it works better for you to study in bursts because if you think about it, when you've had those sessions where you've studied for like four or five hours and you feel like you've been productive because you've been studying for five hours, when you look at the content you actually remember, you probably only remember the first half an hour to the first hour of that session and can't remember anything else. So you need to take breaks in between to give your brain a rest and then you'll continue studying after that. So I'm going to be doing my burst. I'm going to put music over the sessions because this is a real time session. So you guys have a study buddy to study with you and I guys, I have you guys to study with me. Um, and then after the 30 minutes um, session, I have my watch here so I can see the time. Then we're going to take the 15 minute break. Then I'll give you guys some feedback on how I've done, if I've managed to finish the topic, if I'm going to carry it over. And then also in the comments below, you guys can say if you've managed to um, achieve what you wanted to achieve in the first half hour. And then after the break, we continue. And I think the maximum time I'm going to give for this video is about two hours. Um, I'm obviously going to be studying for longer than that, but I think for a video to post, two hours is long enough. And then if you feel you need to come back to this, this video at any point, if you need a study buddy, then feel free to watch it again and again and again until I make another one. Oh, and then another tip, just before we start, I study using YouTube videos um, and that is YouTube is an amazing resource for everything, not just makeup and fashion and beauty, but for educational content. There's so much educational content on YouTube. And as a medical student, if you're not using YouTube at this point, I do not know what you're doing because it will make your studying so much easier. And the person that I use the most or people that I use the most is Dr. Najib Lectures. I will put the names on the screen. I'm sorry for everybody else that's not studying medicine. I unfortunately don't have um, recommendations for you. And then I also use Paul Bolin. And then for like burst short summaries, I use Osmosis. So I'll just put them on the screen so you guys can see them. And trust me, try out YouTube for your studying. You won't regret it. So yeah, that was just the first tip because that's what I'm going to be using. So you guys don't wonder what I'm watching <laughs> while I'm studying. So yeah, let me get started. Let me finish my neonatal jaundice and I'll see you guys in half an hour.
Um, it's been longer than 30 minutes <laughs> and that's because I felt like I could go for longer and then also my camera memory card got full so I had to go fetch um, my laptop so I could transfer the first part of the video onto my laptop and I got my laptop because I couldn't find my charger which is why I was watching the videos on my phone so I found my laptop obviously so it's obviously better to watch videos on the laptop than on the phone which is why the setting has changed I moved around and things happened so first part of the session um, I would say has gone well obviously because I went over half an hour I think I'll still like speed it up though when I post it so that it still fits into 30 minutes so you guys can time yourselves in that way however if you feel like you go better for longer then do that you don't have to um, completely isolate it into half an hour and the other thing that made me go over time is that I'm using videos so obviously if the video isn't finished then I can't stop so I'm still not done with the video it's but the video itself is about an hour and 20 minutes long as I mentioned I started watching it um, which day was it yesterday <laughs> last night so I had watched most of it but I still had about 40 45 minutes left so now I've got 10 minutes left until I finish the video but First session's gone good, I still have like a really good amount of energy and I think a very important key to studying and studying effectively is that you at least need to enjoy what it is that you're doing. So already if you're in the wrong degree you're going to struggle because um, you won't really particularly enjoy studying the content that you have to get through. And I genuinely genuinely enjoy medicine very very much, I find it extremely interesting. Um, and I do really like learning new things and I get really excited when I get the opportunity to learn new things and when I have the energy to um, and the time to um, study effectively then I do actually enjoy my study sessions and like I said the videos make it so much better because it's a lot more interactive than just sitting with a book so um, I do have textbooks though on my phone which is what I was going through <clears throat> to find some notes because um, obviously the lectures here on YouTube aren't also like completely comprehensive so if there's something that I'm missing in there then I definitely check it out in my lecture notes so typically when I take my breaks um, I just play Candy Crush or if it's a longer break I watch the crime channel so right now I think I'm just gonna watch a bit of crime on my laptop as well I have DSTV now so you guys can do whatever you want to do for your 15 minute break in the comments below let me know how your session went did you get productive? Did you do something meaningful? Is there anything that you feel like you'd want to change about the study method? Do you rather prefer to go on for like hours and hours and hours and you feel like that works for you? Let me know. But I'm going to watch some crime and then I'll catch up with you guys at 3 o'clock and then I'm pretty much just going to finish my video. Um, the video that I'm watching and then I'll move on to the next topics. That robbery was never solved. Did I understand it? Nobody could really find a motive or had any idea of what might have happened or why it happened. My personal opinion is that it was something that may have stemmed back to the money that was stolen at the flower shop. If this was true, detectives may have been looking in the wrong place. Kenda ran background checks on all of Walton's co- so this is break time over, um, my break ran a little bit longer because I had to charge the camera battery, it was now on like 20% so I could see that it wasn't going to last very long or it wasn't going to last for another 30 minute session. But I'm going to finish off this jaundice lecture, I have about 15 minutes left of it and when I'm done with that then I'm going to move on to the rest of my other topics that should go much much faster than this one did because as I mentioned it's a single video and it's quite a long video and it's a very multifaceted topic. So. Pick up your books, put down your phone, stop playing Candy Crush like I was. <laughs> Hopefully your guys' breaks are like more productive or like funner than mine. Mine is literally the Crime Channel and Candy Crush. That's all I do during my breaks. But hopefully your break was a bit more enjoyable. I think my second break I'm going to make something to eat because I'm starting to feel a bit hungry. Or I may eat in between. We'll see. We'll see. But sure, let's get back to work.
I appreciate the sentiment, but I'm afraid it's nothing more than a daydream.
or two done so in total we've done an hour um, and I think I'm going to cut the video here because I want to do this as a trial run I think it's also a bit extensive to have a two hour long video um, and you could always just start it back at the beginning if you're not done studying I'm going to continue doing my work however so far I had already finished the Georges lecture and then I started with neonatal intracranial hemorrhage um, and I'm almost done with that topic as I mentioned the other topics are much shorter and go a lot quicker so for the rest of the day I'm just going to finish off my other objectives so what I particularly like about the birth sessions is that it helps you quantify your productivity so you'll see that you'll also learn to do more in the 30 minute sessions as opposed to lazing about and doing less in a longer period of time so when you time yourself you know that in half an hour I have to complete exit task and if I don't I've been working slowly or if I do I've been working quickly or working sufficiently so I really hope that the birth sessions or the idea of birth sessions is something that you guys will consider um, and that you'll actually try it out give it a trial run in your personal study sessions or in your study times or just use this video to try and practice it and see how productive you can get or how you improve your productivity with the birth session so yeah i think that's the last final tip that i'll give for this video and that's pretty much it from me in terms of the study with me session so let me know in the comments down below if this was productive for you if it's helpful for you and if you guys would like them to be much longer um or rather to be longer then i'll at least also prepare for it so that my camera battery doesn't die every two seconds um, and if you'd like me to add anything to the videos, take away anything from the videos, then do just let me know. But let me get back to work and I hope you stay working. Just rewind the video, go back to the beginning and continue studying. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the best with achieving your study goals and all to what? Thriving and not just surviving this year. I love you guys. God bless.